And Bob, thank you for putting up with my uh, diatribe. Well, I just love it. Well, I, I well, I think I love I love the fact that you love it. <laughs> so... well, that's great. It's a great start. Yeah. Hey, listen, what is what is up? I mean, uh, I was going through some of the market reports, and they're saying, well, this week the market may do some uh, bouncing up, and we may see reason to smile. But overall, they're saying that, uh, oh, no, this this is just a, a false uh, uh, false hope or something like that. What do you see coming? Well, I expected that uh, in this early part of January that the market – would move up in anticipation of the coronation, as Joyce puts it, uh, of the uh, new president. Um, the market attempted to do that and thus far has been unsuccessful. Uh, perhaps it'll uh, come back and put on another short-term rally, but short-term is the operative phrase. Uh, the market's going to go down. Why? The earnings are going to be dreadful. Uh, and we have uh, all sorts of money creation ideas going on, uh, both fiscally as well as monetarily. In other words, the world is being flooded with money and credit, and it's not only the United States, it's the rest of the world doing the same thing, hoping to bail themselves out, yeah, right. uh, which is a titanic struggle, which uh, they have no hope of winning. And so uh, the market's going down. Real estate's going lower. And, you know, they've got the interest rates down to zero, and that only can last so long. And uh, I think toward the end of the year, interest rates are going to go higher, and uh, losses are going to can appear, at least on paper, in the bond market. And that is not going to be good because it's ten times bigger than the stock market. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we've we got plenty of trouble ahead. Well, I, I don't think any of our listeners would disagree with that. Uh, the question is, is how soon are we going to see things blowing up in our faces, and how how much time have we got, you know, <laughs> to prepare for it? You know, uh, I've been doing this almost 50 years, and I'm not that smart yet. Uh, I look at the longer-term trends. I try to get people into or out of things a year, a year and a half, two, even three years ahead of time. And especially in real estate and the stock market, I've saved people an awful lot of grief. And so the short-term swings, don't know. I know it's going to happen. It's going to get progressively worse. you got to prepare for that. That's the important thing. And do it as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the question is, is how do people prepare for it? I mean, there's a lot of folks out there that well, just you, don't have Well, you have it right on the program. Freeze-dried, dehydrated food, seeds, mm -hmm. uh, filters. Uh, means to defend your family. Now, these are an insurance policy. I write about them in almost every issue. You've got to do it, and you got to get out of debt, particularly your credit card debt. Oh yeah. You got to get your house in order quickly. Oh yeah. Well, you know, there are a lot of folks out there. Let's face it. You know, uh, a lot of people just can't afford to go out and buy gold or even silver, at that matter. Some folks are struggling just to be able to pay the bills and, and keep food on the table. So, I mean, the issue about going off and buying silver and gold is sort of like, yeah, right, you know, for a lot of folks. But you brought it up. I think you hit the nail on the head. Um, aside from having, you know, gold or silver to, to protect your assets, you need to have commodities. Now, you would you obviously agree with that because you just brought that up. Um, commodities, do you see a time coming in the future where these commodities are actually used as a method of trade? I mean, bartering, uh, using as a monetary system? In in uh, in a debacle, absolutely yes. Uh, I think what it's going to boil down to uh, is uh, eventually uh, a devaluation of the dollar, a default, uh, currency controls, and uh, yes, bartering. Now, one of the things that the U.S. Congress must do, and it really rankles me when none of the other newsletter writers talk about it, uh, in a positive vein, and that is our Congress passing legislation eventually to put tariffs, trade tariffs, on goods and services. It's the only way that we're going to be able to get our country going again, even if we have a default. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely necessary, and if those in Congress are being controlled by money from 
Wall Street and banking and uh, uh, transnational elitist corporations. Mm -hmm. And that's why nothing gets done in Congress, because most of them have been bought and paid for. And as a group that's been compromised, then there's a tiny group called the good guys and uh, the people that we all like. And uh, they can't seem to get much accomplished, and, and rightly so, because all the other guys are getting paid off or afraid to say anything. Well, you know, I can't help but say, or shall I say, restate the concept that we made here on this broadcast like eight or nine years ago, and that is, you know, unless we're able to muster the numbers necessary, and we almost we could have got it gotten it done with the uh, with during the uh, primaries with Ron Paul. There were so many people that were. Uh, aware or becoming aware of what's going on with this Ron Paul revolution, the Federal Reserve, and all the other issues that uh, that we talk about, uh, but the numbers just didn't seem to uh, gel, as it were. Uh, do you agree with the statement that at this point we may have to just st stand, uh, excuse me, stand back and let this entire uh, system collapse under the weight of its own corruption? I don't think we're going to have any uh, ch a ch uh, choice in it. it. It's going to do that. And uh, the point of no return uh, was June of '02. Uh, in the plans to bring down the economy, they tried to reverse it and they couldn't. They, the powers behind government, and uh, it was just too far afield. And uh, their plans had been uh, really messed up per uh, Zbigniew Brzezinski by the mishandling of the uh, invasions and occupations in the Middle East. Uh, the past well, that leads me. I'm sorry, administrate I didn't mean to interrupt. The, been the a disaster. Yeah, the commercial break is coming, and that's what well, that leads me to my next question. Boy, you, you must have been reading my mind because uh, obviously the escalation of uh, hostilities in uh, uh, in the Middle East with Israel going into the Palestinians, you know, the Gaza Strip, and then the Lebanese reacting to that. Do you see this explosive thing just mushrooming, and how's that going to affect the market? We're talking with Bob Chapman, international forecaster. We'll be back in four minutes. Stay with us.